just the fact knowing this place is a children's hospital and you go and find those toys here. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we've actually come to this multi-million dollar abandoned home. Don't want to say exactly where it is and I kind of don't want to give away the location. It is really cool just from initially walking in here. So I'm going to take you guys on a little tour. I don't know if the place is haunted. It is definitely abandoned. We're just going to pretty much explore the place, see what it's all about and uh, go on from there. So let's get the party started. Alrighty. So we're coming into like what I assume is like the living room area. This place is kind of neat. Now, if this video does get a little bit boring, I might try and combine it with something, but uh, yeah, these are actually pretty cool. I like these. Just like the overall look of this place is, uh, is pretty neat. There's a lot of like different wings and stuff. Here's how you know this place is kind of old. Look at that. Old school uh, PA system. I wonder if the power still works. Nope. No power. This is kind of neat. Wow, but yeah, this uh, this is a neat house, that's for sure. Got a washroom here that's uh, pretty much falling apart. Okay, can't seem to go in here for some reason. Something's blocking the door. But yeah, look at this. This is a cool, I would literally just live in this one area of the house. I'm not gonna lie, these huge, huge, long, drapes stairwell is really cool i don't know if there's a basement in this house i haven't seen any way to go downstairs look like they had started ripping up the floors ew ew is that poo oh my god that is disgusting yeah pretty cool looking kitchen very uh Modern looking, kinda. No idea what the deal is with all these uh, water bottles in the sink. But all right. This is actually kind of cool. They have like a industrial looking stove top. So for me personally guys, like honestly, I like a lot of the much, much older, more decayed looking places just because of the creepiness factor. But sometimes this is fun. It's a little bit refreshing, something different to do. So that's kind of why I'm giving you guys these videos. And of course we do risk ourselves like every single day. So of course, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe if you like these kind of videos. I normally do a lot more uh, haunted style videos or creepy, dark places, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is kind of fun too. All right, so big uh, open room. See, so yeah, I was in here already. I can see they like tore the fireplace apart. No idea why they did that. Could they possibly be hiding something in there? Let's see, let's see if we can find anything in there. <laughs> Nothing, you can't see anything at all. Well, that's too bad. So far, I think the uh, coolest things about this house would be that one room and these stairs. So there used to be a chandelier there, but I guess it was probably worth a couple of bucks and they probably took it out before they left. Oh wow, cool fireplace. Very neat. Nice big windows. Yeah, that would be uh, poop. There's a, a lot of it downstairs too. Why is there so much of it in one spot? Like um, because animals usually like to go in one spot for some reason. <laughs> yeah. A little closet in here. Me personally, I don't get any like creepy vibes inside of this house, so I'm pretty sure it's probably not haunted at all. But uh, pretty much just a simple explore of a house. Nothing too exciting. These stairs are really, really cool though. Kind of digging that. Kind of like how the uh, the house is partitioned into very different styles throughout. It's like a little bit of everything. I feel like it's more modern on this side and a lot older on the other side over there with all the wood paneling. Kind of like how the uh, the house is partitioned into. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this house. Uh, we'll see if we end up anywhere else and then I'll obviously combine the next location with this location. Like I said, obviously, I don't think there's anything paranormal going on over here. I didn't feel any sort of weird vibes or anything like that. Normally you do when you come into places like this. If there is something here, you can generally feel it, but I'm not getting that from this location. So we're gonna head over to the next place and I'll see you guys there. I actually kind of forgot that there was this neat looking pool out here. It's so completely shiny. filled.
All right guys, so we finally made it to another location. We're actually in an old abandoned hospital. It's a very small building. Well, I mean, compared to a normal hospital. Uh, basically, it kind of looks like a very, very old, old house. It's very, very cool in here. And they actually converted it into a hospital for many years. And that's what it was used. Now, I'm gonna assume obviously a place like this with people dying, there's probably gonna be some sort of paranormal activity. I'm gonna be just kind of walking through, so I'm gonna be relying on you guys to notice anything that I don't hear. So let me know if you see or hear anything in the comments below. Let's, uh, let's start exploring the place. So we've started here in this very, very old decayed room. It actually looks really cool in here. Like this fireplace is really neat. Wow. As you can see, it's pretty decayed. It's probably been abandoned for a long time now. Got another spot that used to be a fireplace. Got some like lights and stuff over there. Wow. This place is actually cool. Got a very old uh, chandelier there. Holy moly. Look at this place. Very creepy. Floors underneath me don't feel uh, all that great, to be honest with you. Got an old radiator in there. All right, we're gonna continue on. This building is not that big. So, like I said, I'm probably combining this with the mansion that we went to earlier, just because I know that video obviously wasn't very, very long. So, give you guys a little extra content, a little something to watch in these times. I know for a lot of you guys are probably stuck bored at home with the whole coronavirus thing going on. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely something to keep you guys entertained, keep your mind going, because, you know, if you're just sitting around doing nothing with nothing to watch or to enjoy, it's definitely gotta suck. Now obviously we like to get out there and we still explore, but keep in mind we only go to places that realistically there's no one here. Obviously it's an abandoned place, nobody to come in contact with, so I mean there's really no risk for us. All right, so let's make our way upstairs. Let's see what there is up here. Wow, these stairs are uh, pretty f***ed up. <laughs> Holy crap. So got all the uh, old carpeting here. Wow. Got the pink room. Wow. This is so cool. This is the type of buildings that I like to see. Alright. So, continuing on. Oh, we got an old uh, picture here. Oh, cool. There's a desk in here. No idea what this is. But you can definitely tell the... Uh, the age of this building when you see that type of construction. Very, very old. So I am going room to room. I don't know too much of the history on this place, uh, but I do know it was a children's hospital. No idea for how long exactly. I'll see if my friend can give us some information on this place. It is definitely kind of cool in here. I like the way uh, like the arches are. That's neat. Wow. Very cool. The old cabinets. It's a very old washroom. Made my way here into another room. Look how old this stuff is. Holy crap. This place must have been abandoned for a long time. Oh my god. That is so creepy. Just the fact knowing this place was a children's hospital and then you go and find these toys here. That's creepy. Wow, this room is uh, very decayed. How bad the floor looks. I think that might have actually fallen somewhere or maybe somebody come, came in and broke it. Nothing in that closet. What the heck was that? Is there an attic in this place? Yeah, it's full of birds. There's not much up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something making some noises in this room. Hello, anybody in here? Imagine just the whole ceiling just collapses right in front of our eyes. To be honest with you, that would be some pretty cool entertainment. This is probably the only room I haven't really done yet. There is an attic, but apparently it is all full of bird doo-doos. So we're not gonna go up there. Cause screw that. I'm not down for bird doo-doos. Let's see what's up here. 
I didn't know there was a third floor. That's cool. Oh, cool. Creepy crawl space. Huh. Nothing really going on up here. It's more like, uh, what are these, just crates for stuff? Guys, check this thing out. Oh, what is this? An old typewriter? That is so neat. Very cool. Many of you guys are probably too young to even really know what this is. But you used to type on it, and it would print stuff on paper. And then you would, like, reset it, and start the next line, reset it. Pretty cool. That's actually what people used to do before computers were around and became more popular. Pretty much it for uh, this building. Nothing too crazy. The building itself is actually pretty cool. We're gonna move on from here, maybe go and see something else. So that's pretty much where I'm gonna end this off. I'll probably keep recording until I make my way outside just in case anything does happen. I think the coolest thing in here is probably these stairs to be honest. That honestly looks really cool. Very old school looking uh, washroom in here. Very creepy. It actually reminds me a lot of a, like an asylum washroom. Alright guys, that is where I'm going to end off this video. This was actually a pretty cool explorer. I, uh, I actually kind of liked this building definitely more than the mansion. The mansion was still pretty cool. It was very, very unique in its own way. Anyways, that is where I'm going to end off this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe. Turn those notifications on. Make sure you turn them on to all so that way you get every single notification for every video that I post. Other than that, that's where I'm going to let you guys go. All I want to say is thanks for watching and I love you. Yeah, bye. All right guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I just want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I cannot believe we made it to 10,000 subscribers, so I am truly grateful for every single one of you. A lot of you guys mentioned recently that you were interested in merch if I had created it. So a lot of you guys said yes, so I decided I would uh, hunker down, finally get uh, get on that. I've had a logo now designed for a little while. I was just kind of waiting till uh, I guess till the right time to release it. The merch is finally released. I'm actually still waiting on hats, but we have everything else available like the shirts, tank tops, women's, unisex, men's, pullover hoodies, long sleeve shirts, even mugs and socks. So if you guys are interested in exploring with Angelo merch, I have the official merch website in the description and I'll also pin a comment uh, right at the top, so definitely look out for that. If you guys are interested, feel free to check it out. And otherwise, that's pretty much it for me for now. So we will see you guys in the next one. Again, love ya and thanks for watching. Bye.